Hi, my name is Bill Brayton and welcome back to another virtual training solutions video powered by ATRA. Today we're going to be looking at this 9050. This is a nine speed that goes in the 2017, 2018 and up Malibu with a two liter engine. Today we're going to be removing the side cover and the valve body and the electrical harness we're going to take the valve bodies off the case, valve bodies, the middle and uh, middle and side valve bodies, and we're going to be taking a look at the park by wire components and some check ball locations. So let's get started. Okay, so to do this operation, we're going to use a 10 millimeter socket. We're also going to need a uh, eight millimeter socket for the valve body bolts and some of the side cover bolts. First, we're going to remove the bracket. This is where the uh, computer would be in the car. And so we're gonna get rid of this. You might want to take a look or take a picture, get out your trusty camera phone and take a picture of where the stud bolts go so that it's easier when you're going back together with this thing to get them in the right spot, you don't have to play a, a guessing game as to what's going on. So we're going to get these pan bolts done and we'll be right back. Okay, we got our last bolt to go out here. And now we're going to remove the side cover. It's got a couple of dowel pins that it likes to stick on to, so be careful. You see that has a, a molded gasket in there. We'll, discard that when we go back together with it and get a new one. So now we've got our, our harness that we're going to unplug or remove. We've got a few bolts holding it here and a couple of bolts here. One of the things you want to key in on is that all of the plugs that go into the solenoids have this little red locking device. So we want to just move it towards away from the outside there towards the inside just using this one as an example and press in on the tab and out it comes just like that so we're going to go ahead and unplug the rest of these and unscrew the bolts and we'll be right back okay so now we're down to our last plug in here up and easy. We've got them all unplugged now. So now we're going to take the harness off of the valve body. We've got one short screw here. The rest, the rest of them are 56 millimeters. Pretty long screws here. Actually these are 80 94, 94 millimeters. The shorty is 20 millimeters. And then we have the case connector here. And this connector is kind of cool because the, uh, the bolts are captured right here, so they're not going anywhere. But watch what happens here. The, this this is a hard bracket for the for the wiring harness, but it is also a retainer for a couple of springs we have in here. We have a spring that comes in here and a spring that goes here. These are for the valve body accumulators, the um, solenoid accumulators. So you want to be very careful when you're taking that apart that you don't lose those springs because that's just as it happened right here, the spring falls out and drops into the trough, falls on the floor and you won't notice where it's at. This is what the accumulator pistons look like that are in the valve body. There's uh, several of these located throughout the valve body. We're gonna be seeing those as we take this thing apart. So make sure that you get both of those pistons out. A pair of snap ring pliers to pull them out and set them aside either on a rag or, or uh, 
in, in your parts in your parts basket. So now we're going to remove there's there's two this comes off in two different halves here. So we're going to remove the valve body bolts and take the solenoid body off of the off of the other half of the valve body. So we'll back in just a second. Okay, we've got one bolt to go here. You can see we've got uh, 96, 96 millimeters and 85 millimeters are the shorter bolts here. You can tell the longer bolts, pretty easy to see, the longer bolts are a step up from where the shorter bolts come out of. So we'll just get these bolts out of the, out on a way out of the set out of the way here these up here on top are shorter still these are um, 65 millimeters long up in this two spots these two locations right here and we'll finish it off by getting those two out of here Okay, we've got one last bolt here to take off. Now, the valve body, it might not jump right off of there. Yeah, see, that's stuck. So, because there's guide pins on there on the valve body, it just needs a little bit of help here to get this away from the other half. And there we go. You can see the Here's the guide. Here's the guide studs, the dowel pins here and here that it gets stuck on. There's no check balls, no check balls or accumulators in this side of the valve body. And here's what a, a couple of things I want to show you here is this one has a sensor. This is actually a there's a magnet and it's a two wire Hall effect sensor that denote that that will tell the computer where the uh, where the position of this valve is it's actually a range valve that's in the valve body we're not going to get the valves blown out of it today in this video but we're really just going to focus in on uh, some check ball locations from here on out so because this is a park by wire we've got two more sensors here uh, another same just like the one i just explained the two wire hall effect sensor it tells the position of the valve and then this three wire sensor, which has all three of these have magnets attached to the valves that it will tell its position back and forth. This is the park piston. So we actually have a hydraulic situation where this will put this into park, take it in and out of the park position. Now let's remove the screws that hold the valve body to the case. There's a couple of screws here, one here and one here that are going to stay with the plate. You don't have to remove those because this, act, this will hold the plate to the valve body itself. See, I got my hand on it. I don't want it to, to fall on the bench here. There. Now, you see there's a, there's a, a plastic rivet here. Uh, there should be one here as well. This comes from the factory like this. That, that, these are plastic rivets that hold the plate to make assembly uh, a lot easier so that you don't have to worry about the check balls falling out and we'll show you that here in a minute. But first, I want you to see the check ball locations here. This is a different configuration in this area right here because it's a park by wire unit. The manual valve, you can see that's the park actuator. The manual valve style will not have this check ball here, but we'll have one, two, three, four, five check balls down here as we see them. And it's Super, super important to know where these check balls are because nine times out of 10, when you pull this valve body off, something's going to happen to one of these balls and you won't know, you haven't marked it. 
and you won't be clear on it, this check ball may end up way down in this channel right here. And if you're not paying attention to it, that becomes a very critical area. So that's, that's why it's very important to note where these check balls are at. Maybe get out your phone once again and take a picture of it. But you have it here in this video. These are the locations for this uh, park by wire setup here. Okay, so we've got the bow body here on our bench and we've already removed one of, I call them plastic rivets. And you'll just take them out and pry it up on out of there. And you could see this one looks pretty beat up, but there's these, these actually come in the uh, rebuild kit. So you get brand new ones to put in here just as you go, as, as just before you put the unit together. So now we'll lift the plate off of here. And one thing before I set this aside, if you don't, didn't take a picture and you weren't sure about the case, the check ball locations in the case, this is the side of the plate that faces the case. And you can see the witness marks or the dents in the plate where, at the various check ball locations here. So you could actually use this plate as a guide to where check balls go uh, in, the, in the case there. And always, always either use new gaskets or new plates when we go back together with this unit. Now we can see our check ball locations. There's eight check, ball lo eight check balls in this unit. That's because it's the uh, park by wire setup. It has two extra check balls here and here. The manual valve, the manual valve transmission is completely different. The case passages are different. The valve body obviously in this area is different. There aren't the check balls up here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight check ball locations there. All right, so we make a note of that, uh, take a picture of it, make a little scry mark here, if you will. I don't particularly care to make scry marks in these little flat aluminum castings just to prevent damage or take a picture. So we're going to take these check balls out and set them aside. And we're going to flip it over and check out the other locations. Okay, we've got our valve body flipped over here. Now we're going to remove the pull down plate. Just a couple of screws. Set that aside and remove the separator plate. Now it's always use either a new plate or take the use, uh, get rid of the gaskets and, and reuse the plate. Use new gasket material every time. So here we can see we have a couple of things going on here. We've got two check ball locations, one here and one here, and we've got accumulator pistons like we saw when we took the um, took the valve body off the case the harness off the case we saw it on the top of the valve body so let's remove the springs and they're both the same size so they don't really doesn't matter where they go and the two check balls set that aside then we'll use our snap ring pliers to remove the accumulator pistons. And those are the check ball locations and the accumulator piston and spring locations for the 9T50 valve body. This has been a video by Virtual Training Solutions powered by ATRA. My name is Bill Brayton and have a great day.